Let's stray with the reading for the collective. Um, take what resonates throughout the rest. I had ordered some cards for the channel, um, which are coming in, and um, I wanted to make room for for those decks. So I did a little deck giveaway on Patreon. And when I was looking through through my decks, I had some of these amazing decks that I hardly ever use because we've been dealing with all these karmic energies and then something was nudging me to pull out the love love cards. So yeah, so we'll just see what what comes up in regards to that. For you, I feel like maybe a little shift in messaging and just see what you need to know. Um, but let's first wow that really wanted to come out. Um, all right, so let's see what that is. Jafael. Wow, and I think Hanael. Um, maybe also Retreat and Dreams. So... I feel like Michael is helping you with your I am presence. Um, and right now we're focusing on your dreams, your dreams, Raziel. Um, this is surrendering to your dreams and your I am presence and your joy and um, doing it with courage. Um, and I think you're still in this kind of energy of, of retreat. Um, and this is like an evolution. You've gone through an evolution, um, but it's all about surrendering right now to, um, to all this good, this joy. Um, and, and you could be having strong dreams. Um, you could find that you're very courageous. You could find courage where, you know, new levels of courage opening up to you. Um, definitely surrendering because there's been so much, you know, there's been a lot about protection, you know. Um, not that you let go of... You know, it's not that you rock back on your heels. It's not like that, but it's a lot about opening up to, to this new, um, I'm not going to read them all, but joy. Um, I feel like that's the main focus is your joy. Um, because I feel like this is the entryway into all of this other energy and to, to, um, what's coming in that's good for you. Um, so we've got Jafael. Um, Jafael. Which I don't seem to be able to find too easily. Let's try again, Jafael. Jafael for the collective. Here we go. Joy. The card you have chosen brings forth a ray of joy. Remember, we come from the source, which is a place of total well-being and infinitely unfolding creative possibility. Explore the playfulness of life's joy and soak in the effervescence of play. The dolphin's truthful force reminds us of the carefree energy we felt as children. Ask Jafael to surround you with the joyous elementals to help you in your journey and chant he from the crown chakra to assist the release of joy. Liberation. We all seek spiritual liberation. When we achieve it, our soul soars like an eagle with the intoxication of divine love. This card suggests this may be a moment when you seek Jafael's supernal help, and it invites you to meditate on the beautiful yellow ray of this powerful archangel's force. The vibration of this bright supernal frequency will 
always allow you to feel detached. Raphael will lift the challenge from you and lead you into discernment. Consequently, liberation will enrapture you, springing you from whatever confine you feel your spirit is caught in. Chant Ha three times through your heart chakra and you will seal the promise of liberation. Meditation, finding stillness and detachment helps us towards the angelic freedom evoked by meditation. Jafiel provides us with his yellow ray to soar with. All we need to do is quiet, in our, quiet our mind. Then we may hear the angels sing. So at dawn and at sunset, practice meditation, breathe deeply, listen intently through a relaxed state to the divine Om, and then be still to hear the music of the angelic kingdoms. This will bring your oracular messages. Please be aware of your solitude, stillness, and silence. You know, it's interesting because that's why I feel like retreat and, you know, surrender. It's like all these energies seem to support this joy. So, um, I feel like this is your, your I am presence that is also strengthening. Um, and, um, you can also take a look at these other archangels if you want as well. Sandalphon, Hanael, Raziel, Zafkael, and Michael. Okay, I'm um, going to leave Joy out at the top of the reading. Joy. We can call that horn as confirmation. What sweet messages do we have for the collective? Oh, we have the two of cups under the deck. What sweet messages do we have for the collective? What does the collective need to know? Wow, now ten of cups under the deck. So yeah, this is your everlasting joy that we're focused on. What does the collective need to know about their everlasting joy? What's what's coming in? What what should the collective focus on? Um, okay, page of coins. So this is like maybe being focused on opportunities and. Um, potential, um, yeah, the unfolding of something here, um, there could be a king of swords and this could be Archangel Michael helping you reach this honey. It looks like the bear is reaching for the honey, found the honey, reaching for the honey. He's got his paws on the honey. So it's like the very, it's the potential. It's just touching the potential. Um, yeah, we have Knight of Wands under the deck. So it's like your passion, touching the potential of your passion. Eight of Swords in the challenge position. So you could have been really dealing with a lot of external forces. You know, trying to keep you psych psychologically stuck. So if we, you know, take the karmic energies out of the reading, um, you know, it's like you're aware of whatever your own limitations are in regards to this potential here. Um, you you feel like it's a mind over matter thing at this point, um, not being trapped, not not trapping yourself. Um, in the subconscious, we have two of cups. So yeah, you feel like there's a partnership here or that if there's someone in your presence, maybe a new person, or you feel this person, this soulmate, you feel them around you, they're in your subconscious. Um, but I don't know that you're reaching for a soulmate here. I don't feel like that's what you're focused on. You're focused on this potential here. And, you know, making sure to not, you know, be in your, your head about it. 
As a matter of fact, you might be even thinking in terms of using your own kind of limitations in your own favor, if that makes sense. It's like stepping on your own psychological um, limitations. You're using your limitations to help you, which is very smart. Um, I feel like, you know, you definitely probably got of an energy where you're withholding your energy from others um, while you focus on this, um, you know, in your retreat time. Um, there's definitely a two of cups in your energy for sure, but it's like that's not what you're focused on really. It's this honey. You're, you're touching the honey and you want to make sure you're not playing mental games with yourself especially because of what you've dealt with. So it's about, you know, breaking free from any self limitations because of these patterns that been, have been, you know, happening around you so that you don't take on whatever others have tried to stick on you. Um, Ten of Swords in the recent past, so there could be someone around you that, you know, or multiple people who have begun to experience some type of defeat, painful endings. Um, and that's why, you know, they're, th these people are dealing with these painful endings. That's what's behind you. You have your back turned to, to this. You know, you can't help these people. You, it's not your, uh, it's, it's just a new phase. You're aware of, of it, but that's not what you're focused on. Um, yeah, it's more your passion. What's driving your passion? That's what you're, um, yeah, that's what you're focused on. And, you know, you've got a goal in mind. You've got somewhere you've got to be or do. Uh, battery went out. So, yeah, you've got something to, to do. I feel like you could be pacing yourself as well. Um, so you don't feel like... You know, there's no one here. It's just you, right? Um, you're in this retreat and you're you're focusing on this honey. You climbed all the way up, up the cliff to get it. And you only have to put, take a few more steps, you know, plus the honey's dripping downwards. But you've also been really powering through something here with your passion. So it's like... There's something about your, you know, even though you feel like these people are out of the picture here, it's about your, your energy reserves and, and your focus. Um, you're not treating it any differently, in other words. Your task's at hand. You're very, very focused. It's between, you know, yourself and the divine, really, and making sure to um, break free from any self-limitations. That's what you're focused on. Um, as far as your passions go and the potential that's here, this honey is dripping down. Um, you've climbed up the mountain. Um, intentions, expectations. So we've got this three of coins here. So you're going to be building something and you, you either know who you have in mind or you are you know something's coming together as far as uh, working with others. It's like a soul tribe that you're going to be working with. Um, under the deck, we have karma. Sorry, justice. <laughs> but it's basically karma. So you know that things are balancing themselves out and that whoever you align with, it's going to be the right thing. You know, karma is playing out and what something that is supposed to come your way is, but it's not like you're resting on your laurels. You're not doing that, um, but you feel like something here, you know, you're reaching for this because this is a coin and these are coins. 
what you're what you're doing here independently you know this leads to something that happens with a group of people and that karma is playing out um yeah yeah you're definitely very cognizant of the fact that or you feel like you've got to be very discerning with your energy and with your what you've obtained during this portion of your journey you're just not really open to anyone that would dissipate your energy four of wands coming in the near future that's good so we've got you know happy home a celebratory energy a milestone um union this this is good energy this is what you're heading towards um five of swords under the deck so even though these people are there's these people these bullies are getting karma um you might feel their presence um you know people trying to win it all costs around you a lot of ego driven energy um because you're getting what you deserve um but you're just a different person um yeah you've you've walked away from from this kind of ego driven hate hateful energy you've walked away from it and you don't feel like they can touch you but you do feel their presence around you um but you've again you've got somewhere to go and something to do um somewhere to be and you're you're diligently focused on on whatever that is so karma is playing out but it's not like these bullies have you know they're still focused on you um but it's different it's different because yeah you're withholding your energy um you're not really sharing what you do or don't have or what your plans are um if you have children you're very very protective over over you know over your family um and just any your resources um yeah it's like a mama bear papa bear energy you know you've got a fierce growl over any anybody that would there's a you know we've got that courage energy four of swords can be greed you know power hungry but it can also be withholding or holding on to something so you just aren't you're not carrying this it's not that you're f not free flowing and joyful because you have you you do have that but there's like a, a power about you as it pertains to you know what you've your, your security and so that's the difference with this five of swords here maybe in the past it's like you're still you but you've got this um a different energy around it with this you're just aware of them in a different way they can't can't get near you they can't get near you but you're aware of them but you've also got the celebratory energy so something could have come even full circle for you with this four of wands here it's just that your perspective and your energy is more protective over your blessings um and who and who can and can't come near you and your family um or your celebrations or your milestones or your home even yeah you and you've got a lot to do so that's just what it is um yeah you're focused on on work and what you're building um you, you know there's a two of cups in the subconscious but it's it's like not your priority per se um the lens that you are looking through seven of coins 
So you could be um, taking a step back and looking at some, you know, of the things that you have. Um, you're, you're reassessing what do you like, what do you not like, what should you focus more on, where should you put your energy, um, where should you remove your energy, what is and isn't working. So you've got a lot of tasks. It has to do with your time and your energy and your money. Um, that's what you're focused on. Um, three of Swords. Um, anything that, you know, can cause heartbreak, um, or you, you're using your plans, you're using previous heartbreak to build your, your plans. Um, yeah, anything that is, has, you know, any kind of like bitter truths that you've had to accept um, about about yourself, about other people, about you know your place in the world, about the way the world operates, as far as you know whatever you you're building here, you're taking that into account um, as you connect the dots here with your time, your energy. Um, Yeah, it's a bit of a pause. Um, even if you're taking action, I feel like there's a part of you that is like reassessing something here. Um, in the environment, we have the tower and the devil reverse. So somebody around you or a group of people are going through a huge tower moment. Uh, very serious. Uh, people with living a lot of toxic, living out of toxic energies, out of their shadow side, obsessions, materialism, people who wouldn't let things go. Um, they're going through towers. So that's in, in the environment. And it's, you could feel it. You could be aware of it. Um, so that's in your environment. Three, three of cups. This could even be happening to people that you don't know so well. You might, I don't know that you're focused on it, but there could be, it's like judgment day is here. It's not just for the karmic energies that were focused on you, but it's like a lot of people, you could feel like a, a silence or, you know, less people staring you down or whatever it is that they, you know, they've been doing um, for the time being because they're dealing with, some serious towers here. So faulty foundations are falling down. Things built on ego falling down. Anybody that's been in this toxic energy spending their time um, with, you know, pursuing their... pursuing desires that are born from the shadow, um, they're all going through these towers. Um... Yeah, they, they could be fighting with one another. They could still be projecting at you while they go through the tower, but it's like they're occupied. Um, hopes and fears. I feel like only a certain amount of of this you know information is going to come out because just how much of your business, you know, not so much of your business needs to, to come out online. So I feel like this is fairly surface level, which is good. Um, so I, I don't do a lot of these types of readings, zeroing up on you. Um, Hopes and fears, justice. Yeah, you just want karma to play out. You want things to balance out. Um, nine of coins. You're, you've been, you know, focused on yourself. You, you haven't been, you know, participating. You know, and lashing out at people or trying to take people down. You've just really been taking care of, of yourself and, you know, building, building businesses or working harder or you know, securing your environment or taking care of yourself. Um, leveling up, essentially leveling up. That's what you've been doing. And uh, 
anything that's been unfair in regard to that, you're, you're hoping that the universe balances itself out, and it is. Um, yeah, you've been minding your own business, and you've done things independently, and... Yeah. You know, maybe you're hoping that someone takes action in regards to to justice, or you're waiting for news in regards to this. Um, something something about these towers, or you, you want to see something play out in your environment beyond what you feel intuitively is happening. Um, because you're, you're carrying a lot of weight, or you've got a lot to do. You know, you've got a lot going on that you've been doing on your own, which, you know, you're happy to do. Whatever you've got to do, that's, that's what just it is. You're, you know, very, very strong and determined, and that's not going to end anytime soon. Um, but, but there's definitely a part of you that, you know, with the, it's almost like it's a weight. It's like a bit of a weight you feel like because of how much you've experienced in, in this situation. So you feel like it will, maybe you've been carrying the weight too of like slander and lies and all that type of stuff as well. You know, uh, putting out a lot of energy to take care of yourself, take care of your family, build on your own. Um, and that's why you, you know that there's this collaboration coming, you know what's coming in. Um, and so if you're, if you're hoping for, for, you know, justice, it's, it's coming, it's already happening in, in, in the environment, but you want to, it's almost like, it's not that you want to see people go, go down per se to see, you know, the gore of it. It's not that it's that you want things to balance out so that, you know, you've been climbing this mountain here. Um, and these people keep coming, coming for you, hoping that your, your legs will give out. They're not going to give out. But you would definitely like them to, you know, go go sit down somewhere, <laughs> you know, so that everybody can collaborate in a more positive way because you know what it is that you're trying to accomplish here um, or what you've already accomplished, what you're, what you're doing. You've got the blueprint um, and that's where you want the justice. It isn't about like, you know, gawking and laughing at people. That's not what it is. It's just, you know about things balancing out so that um, things are more even and you can relax and have this joy, joyous feeling. Also know that, you know, it's, it's the pressure or the weight of it. You feel like there'll be a release um, when you see things, tangible things starting to play out. Um, rather than what you feel is happening intuitively. Also, you want these people to stop trying to come for you. Um, but I think part of you also, you're, you're never going to forget this experience. Even it's, it's an, it's an interesting balance because you've got this joyous energy that you're expanding into making sure not to like whatever they've done to keep you in some type of like mental prison about what, you know, the possibilities are in your life, like programming definitely letting go of any any box that anybody's tried to you know mental imprisonment that anybody's tried to like you know uh, put on to you that it's that's your releasing any of any of that and doing the work to make sure that you're not doing anything to hold yourself back um, but it would also be nice you feel like to see see justice play out, even though you know that now you'll never really look at the world the same way. Um, but in a, in a, it's a beautiful mix of, you know, trust and love, but also, um, you know, experiencing the wild. It's like if you're in the jungle, it's beautiful, but you know, you don't walk around barefoot because you, you just, you just can't. So it's, you know, and you, you're not surprised by seeing a snake in a jungle, you know, so it's kind of like a new way of 
Not that you didn't have discernment before, but it's an, the balance is more nuanced. Um, and, and also because of whatever it is that you're doing or building here, um, the stakes or something like that, you're just a lot more... Your third eye's been on. It's more now that you know what you saw with this devil energy and what you experienced. Um, you approach, you approach your um, objectives differently, as well as your blessings. The way that you protect, protect your. Your blessings, your milestones, you, you, as you experience them in the future, um, it's not that you won't be giving, but you're going to be more, I don't want to say the word careful, uh, the way that you navigate the energies is going to be a lot different. Yeah. Um, outcome. The lovers. So you've got this love. The lovers. Yeah. It's a contract. It's a soulmate. It's a decision in love. It's a, it's a marriage. I think it might come at the same time as you receive some type of news or message. Two of coins. I feel like it could come as, you know, you've got a lot of balls in the air. I don't know that it's going to come when, you know, you feel, feel like you've finished all of your tasks. <laughs> I don't know that it's going to come like that. Um, and whoever this is might also have a lot going on as well. Um, and, and it could also be that there's like several events happening all at once. I feel like you've got a lot going on in your life, a lot. And some of it's, it's, it's not, it's not like it's not fun. You've got a lot of good things going on. Um, so because we have this two of cups in the subconscious, and we have the lovers in the outcome. Um, let's just see if there's anything um, you need to know in regards to this love energy. Um, let's see, what do you need to know? <laughs> These are hard to shuffle. I really like them. The lover's oracle. What does the collective need to know? I think it's both of these. Soulmate. Oops, we saw we saw some of the female anatomy here. Let's turn that over. Um soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. Yeah, you feel that in your subconscious. Um, emotions are a natural and necessary part of life, but they can also distort your perception and cloud your vision. In order to see things clearly, you must let go of resentment. Yeah, I feel like that's what you're you're making. You're, I feel like you're doing house cleaning. It's not like anybody's told you what to do. It's between you and the divine. It's, it's be, you know living with clarity and without resentment and anything that could cause blockages for you that's what you're doing you're releasing that um yeah i think you're just navigating your own emotions and as you build you're looking at what caused heartbreak in the past and how can you redo things or if you do need to redo things or just like how do you how do you approach your tasks and where you put your time and energy um it's really, really smart. Soulmate. A new beginning under the deck. A new adventure awaits. 
embrace it and live your dreams passionately. Yeah. A new beginning. That's what you're experiencing. See if there's anything we need to know from the romance angels. might be someone that you really are you know you have heart-to-heart -heart conversations with honeymoon getting to know each other that's what it's gonna feel like um, there's gonna be a lot of passion on this honeymoon wedding it's like a very high level commitment. This could be someone you you um, meet through friends, or this could be someone that starts out, out as friends, or um, there could be an element of friendship with this relationship. This could be a friendship, you know? Uh, whatever it is that you feel, what you resonate, what this is, um, you know, a lifelong companion is what we're looking at, whether it's romance or, or what. Um, and also, you know, you could be so used to being in Nine of Pentacles energy that, you know, if this person um, wants to assist you, you know, this is about allowing, because that's part of the balance that you're looking for. And this, I feel like this person is, you know, more than, more than happy to want to participate, you know, just like you would be with them. Wherever you can give, you, you're, you're happy to do that. I feel like they're, they're going to be that way for you. Yeah, this is a soulmate. So you have a soulmate coming. Just draw. Yeah, calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So I feel like whatever it is you're doing, um, and we have give your relationship a chance under the deck. So whatever it is you're working on, it's all coming together in, in divine timing. I feel like with this work that you're doing here and working on this joy and protecting your environment um, and reworking time and energy and reworking just your life in general is like kind of how you how you gave, who you chose, who you were open to. Um, not, it's not about placing blame. It's just about reworking, looking at your choices. Um, you know, did you see signs? I, I just feel like you're a lot different uh, than you were in the past. And you're, you're, yeah, you're in this phase of there's like a lot shifting around you. And a lot of it is leading to this this two of cups and you know that in your subconscious even though that's not what your your aim is that you just feel like you've got some things to rework or finish um or a lot you've got a lot going on you're very busy there's a lot going on here um but it is it is all kind of accumulatively coming together um and in your energy i think you you are calling in your soulmate yeah and um yeah, give give your relationship a chance. I think you could be, in a way, if you're with someone, then um, maybe you're not so focused on it. And maybe they aren't either. Because um, you both feel like you've got this, you're both maybe in a very similar place. Uh, if you know this person, or if you don't, it's like you're in a similar place as this person. Um, maybe both be becoming unstuck and looking at how you spent your time and energy, um, you know, and rebuilding so that you can nav navigate things differently as far as your heart goes or, you know, what you put your energies into and what, what you get back, um. But yeah, this is about being open, open to giving a relationship or giving this relationship a chance here with your soulmate. I think you're working through that um, intuitively or subconsciously. And 
Und abundance is under the deck. And I haven't shuffled. I feel like um, abundance, creativity. I think that's what's you know unfolding for you. What you're focused on, and I love partnership. Um, yeah, I think that there's a lot of synchronicities coming. Um, spiritual career. I feel like a lot of what you've been through is gonna... It doesn't mean that you would be some sort of, you know, whatever you do in your career doesn't mean that you have to be one of, like, the arch archetypical jobs you don't have to be a reiki practitioner or yoga teacher or you know uh acupuncturist or you know tarot reader or something like that spiritual career just means you're carrying what you've been through into your future it's deeply spiritual whatever you do it's deeply spiritual um, might involve nature there could be also something about, um, you know, music, using music and nature, um, coming from a place of self-love, um, practicing moderation. This is like a rebirth that you're going through, and it all has to do with love. Um, and it's, you're being asked to surrender to this completion, um, and, and also, but that keep persevering as well. Um, this is beautiful personal growth and healing that you're going through. Um, and, you know, this does lead to a love partnership because you feel that in your intuition. If this message resonates, I hope that it helps and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.